Polygon's best days are yet to come. Amid the bearish crypto winter and all the doom and gloom about cryptocurrencies and the future of NFTs, Polygon technology had a scorching summer. Since hitting its low in June, it has rallied over 170% to $0.87, Matic minus 0. 52%. While we have seen a considerable uptake, it is still early days for the EVM compatible chain, with its best days still ahead. Earlier this year, Polygon raised 450 million US dollars in its latest financing round, with a market cap of about 13 billion US dollars, to aggressively expand its portfolio of Ethereum scaling solutions and work to attract traditional brands in the larger blockchain developer ecosystem. This financing round was led by Sequoia Capital India and included big names such as SoftBank, Tiger Global and Animoca Brands, amongst 20 others. They have since made good use of their funds. In the last few months, we have seen household names partnering with Polygon, leveraging their technology to get their foot into Web3. Top-tier brands such as Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Company Plus Zero. 35%, Reddit and Starbucks, Sbucks plus 6, 10%, launched their NFTs and, in Starbucks's case, their NFT-based loyalty program within the network. Polygon, which counts Mark Cuban among its backers, has also been targeting the booming gaming industry, and we see young and upcoming gaming companies such as Jetstar Gaming recently launched their dynamic NFTs or, more accurately, SFDs, semi-fungible token, on the Polygon network, available on both. Clearly, we are still in the midst of a bear market, and most cryptocurrency projects, including Polygon and Jetstar Gaming, are still down from their all-time highs. But the resilient and consistent delivery of these projects over the last few months shows that the crypto winter may be thawing.